Thanks for tuning in to Midwest Outdoors. Today we've got something a little different for you. We pick up with a conversation that was started in our magazine. It's going to be continued in our e-newsletter and then finalized in our Midwest Outdoors podcast. It's an in-depth interview with a former TV star of Midwest Outdoors, the whack master himself, Ted Nugent. You're so confident and comfortable in your own skin and, and you uh, you loving what's I going on me. in, in, in front of you. Me? You're loving, embracing life. What might you offer to people who struggle with happiness and, and embracing the day? I've written a lot about that. God, guns, and rock and roll. And I've written about that recently on my Facebook. What a great communication source that is. I yeah. Think I think this social media is the greatest campfire that has ever been built. It's not easy to attain total confidence. And happiness, too. And total right. happiness, because not everybody can swan dive into their two favorite passions in life and sustain themselves and provide for their families, as I have with rock and roll and hunting. You don't have to make a living at your number one passion to be absolutely happy. And I'll give you examples. I got buddies who are welders and carpenters and mechanics and plumbers and, and technicians, just my heroes. Those are my heroes. And they, they might rather have been a guitar player or, Maybe they'd rather have been a, an Olympic swimmer. I don't know, because they've never mentioned it. Because not only are they reasonably fulfilled in their vocation, but they live within their means, save for a rainy day. My God, repeat this to your children. She does. <laughs> Earn your own way. Be the best that you can be, we're already on our way to happiness. Live within your means. Do you really need to give that money to that person for that product? If you really don't, then don't. Put it in the bank. And carpe diem, like you mean it. Seize the day like you mean it. And these guys, some of them, their welding is their music. And some of them, their plumbing is their Spirit of Wild TV show. They just love it. But those that it's not quite their ultimate dream, they still get up early every day, bust their ass, nurture, love, and discipline their children to be assets to earn their own way, and they still never miss an opening day. But the guys who aren't quite at the highest of highs are still intoxicated with happiness and fulfillment and gratification because they know they're doing the best that they can be. I like it. So that uh, that's but as it's, well put as I've ever heard. It starts with being clean and sober. Every minute you're drunk, every minute you're high, will keep you from that mountain.